Everybody, thanks for taking the time for being here. I'll keep my comments brief because I think we'll do a Q&A in, in a little bit. So this is really the official welcoming of uh, Eric and Melinda Carlson to, to our organization. And uh, we're excited to add them to our organization but also to our community. Um, great player, obviously, that speaks for itself, but uh, the work that both Mel and Eric do in the community in their former city is very much appreciated by us also. This would not have been possible uh, had it not been for our ownership group led by Hasso Plotner uh, to be bold and aggressive when opportunities like this arise and the, the passionate support of our fan base too. Uh, you know, it's, it's rare that this type of player comes available and we've talked about difference makers and we're very fortunate to have a hockey team that's got several difference makers on it. And I know this and Pete will probably touch on this and I think uh, Eric probably appreciated it today. It's an understatement to say our coaching staff and his teammates aren't real excited to have him here. Uh, I saw the jump on the ice this morning and the juice in the building, which is pretty cool. Um, I also want to thank the players, though, that went the other way because um, they were homegrown players, really good people, uh, very good hockey players. And I think this deal is a really good hockey, hockey deal for both teams. Um, for us, it's more of today and, and the near present. Uh, and for Otto and Pierre Dorian, uh, getting players that fit for the future. So I appreciate that aspect of it also. Um, so I'm sitting here um, waiting for the Q&A after that we'll get to, but most importantly, I officially get to do this. It's been a long week, and I know it's been probably emotional and, and tough with, uh, with what Eric has gone through to, to get to this point, but it is my pleasure now to introduce and present a jersey because I know he's going to look great in teal, to our newest member, Eric Carlson. Thanks everybody again for coming today. A lot of new faces for me, obviously, um, but I appreciate the time that you're taking to be here. Um, I just want to start off by, by thanking uh, Doug, Pete, and Mr. Platner for uh, making this transaction for me and my family as smooth as it possibly could have been and giving me the time that I needed to, to get everything organized. And um, both me and my wife are extreme, extremely uh, happy and uh, excited to finally be here and, and soak it all in. And, and uh, you know, start our new adventure. Okay, at this time we can open up for questions. We do have mics on each side, if you wouldn't mind just raising your hand. Hi, Rick Tittle with 95.7 The Game. A couple years ago, I was speaking with Owen Nolan, and I said, how long did it take you before you knew you wanted to stay here for the rest of your life? And he said, 30 minutes after I got off the plane. <laughs> so I know you're on a one-year deal. Have you even thought about next year yet? As of right now, I'm just focused on uh, starting the season as good as I possibly can to help this team win games, and, and that's where, where I'm at right now, and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Eric, hi, Kevin Kurz with The Athletic. Um, I, I know that uh, Doug, was, Doug flew to you to meet with you, and Pete said he met with you also, and you spoke with Hasso Plotner. What was the gist of the message that they were telling you to convince you that this was you know, a good place for you to land? No, I think that for me and, and my wife, it was extremely important to meet them. Uh, San Jose is a place that we only play once a year on the road. Uh, it's probably one of the organizations that I don't know the most about, uh, you know, being on the East Coast. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, the objective of the meeting was, was just to sit down face to face and, 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 you know, they were explaining about everything that they're about, what they're looking for and, and you know, what they believe in. And I think that uh, from that day on, I think that both of our views kind of matched up uh, equally. And I was extremely excited about everything that they had to say and they were Great people uh, right from the start, and, and they're still great people today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael Trakos, Michael Trakos, uh, Post Media News. I, I know, Eric, it was tough for you to actually actually say goodbye to Ottawa. What message do you have now for those Senator fans that are looking towards a, a long rebuild where it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of hope there? No, I mean, uh, that was their decision. Uh, 
to go the way that they did, and I respect that. It's part of the business. Um, and, you know, I wish them nothing but the best. Uh, the guys that are there playing right now are good friends of mine. The guys that I've played with for a long time, some that I didn't have the chance to play with. But, uh, you know, from my perspective, I'm looking forward to my next chapter. And at the same time, you know, I wish them nothing but the best. And I hope they, they you know, accomplish everything that they're hoping they will. Well, this is Mahal from Mind TV USA. Uh, Eric, understandably, you were surprised and emotional about the move. Uh, what do you feel are your challenges as you come to a new home, a new team, and new management? And oh. secondly, what are you looking forward to with the Sharks? Yeah, no, uh, it's 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 definitely going to be a change. Um, but again, I I I like to see challenges as everything, and I think it's going to be a, a fun a challenge for for uh, for not only me but for for this whole team. Uh, you know, they've been a successful team for a number of years. Uh, they were extremely good last year, and I'm extremely excited to be part of a good organization and a good hockey club uh, right from the start. And, and I'm going to do everything I can to fit in as good as I possibly can, and you know, being able to play the best hockey that that I know I can do. And uh, uh, you know, for me, I see this as a, an extremely uh, uh, motivating challenge to uh, uh, to try and grow as a player as a person. And I think that uh, from everything so far, I, I'm going to have a great opportunity to do that here. I'm not making too much of this, but it's fun. I mean, you're skating with Brent Burns three on three this morning. Hits you with a stretch pass breakaway. Just yeah. talk about that moment and just playing with you know Burns and Vlasic and these other players. No, these are great guys. Uh, guys that've been around for a long time. That that you know I've played against for many years. Uh, you know, so I'm I'm going to be extremely excited to see them up close and obviously. Uh, today, you know, playing three on three with Bernsey uh, and you know, and Pav, I think is uh, is not too too uh, too shabby. <laughs> Just to follow up, you you played such a leading role for such a long time. Uh, you know, is it exciting to sort of fit into a new team? Are you are you certain how it's going to work? Yeah, I mean, I, I played on the national team for for a long time now. I've done one Olympics, one World Cup, where where everyone is an extremely good player. And, uh, you know, that's something that I always look forward to. Uh, it was something that I always enjoyed. And I think that, you know, challenge you uh, uh, to do things in a different way sometimes. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that here as well. You know, I'm coming into a group that uh, have been together for a long time, uh, that have good chemistry. And, you know, it's my job to, to try and fit in as good as I possibly can to that group. And, and whatever that might be to, uh, to help contribute to win hockey games, you know, I'm going to do everything I can. Dieter in the back. Question for Pete. Um, how much do you change your system to fit Eric, and how much do you, how much does Eric have to sort of adapt to what it is you guys do? Well, I don't think Eric has to adapt at all. He's just got to do what he does. He's one of the best players on the planet, and uh, you know we're just we just need him to do what he's done for his whole career. I think there's going to be some adaption today in three on three. Burnsy, him, and Pav. I don't think Pav's ever played that much defense before. <laughs> he, was, he was the only guy back. So he's going to have to learn to skate backwards a little bit with those two. Uh, you know what? Again, I, I, don't, I don't think there's, uh, there's any adjustment. We, we play up tempo, we play aggressive, we play the way he plays. Uh, he's going to fit right in. Uh, Eric, just to go from being the captain of the Ottawa Senators to just maybe going to be a player on the team and just kind of going back to just playing, is that going to be a bit of a relief for you? And can you maybe just talk about how maybe difficult that last season was in Ottawa where there's so much going on and off the ice? No, I mean, I think that on any team you're going to have, especially this team, we're going to have a lot of extremely good players, players that's been here for a long time and, and have earned the roles that they have. And I think at the same time, Everybody in that group, whether whether you're a captain or assistant or not, everybody has a role to play, and everybody everybody in there is a leader in their own way. And you know, I'm excited to come here and learn a lot of new things from from the guys that's been here for a long time. And and you know, hopefully, I have something to bring to them from where I come from as well. And I think that it's a give and take relationship that goes on into a locker room, and and that's not going to be any different from any other locker room that I've sat in for for the past ten years in this league. And, and, um, you know, touching on the season last year, I think it was a perfect storm the wrong way. Kevin? Eric, I know this time last year you were getting over that ankle injury. Um, you know, where is that right now? And maybe can you compare your health and how you feel now uh, as to where you were exactly a year ago? 
No, I think last year, um, you know, we went deep in the playoffs, uh, had surgery and pretty much went straight into the season. Uh, it was different. I've done it before. Uh, it's not optimal, but it works for a short period of time. And, and I think, you know, this summer, uh, having a long summer to work on things, I feel like I'm 28 years old now. I, I feel like I know my body better than ever before. And I think that uh, the shape that I'm in right now and the, the mindset that I have is, is the best that it's ever been. Um, you know, when you're young, it's, it's easy going. And I think that as of right now, uh, where I'm at, uh, both physically and mentally, is, is, is somewhere that I've never been before. So I'm extremely excited to, uh, to get the season going and, and, you know, being able to step into that locker room with that quality lineup that they do have and, and do everything I can to contribute as much as possible. Nick, could you just take me through from when you landed in San Jose yesterday to now, just what you did? Just to, to, to get uh, the I blur landed, of it. Yeah, I landed, had a pizza, went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up this morning, did what I had to do to, to get clear to go on the ice and went on the ice. And, and you know, I think that everybody, uh, uh, you know, in this organization, whether it's the players or the staff or the management, have, have been extremely welcoming and, and giving me everything that, that I needed to be as comfortable as I possibly can be since it is a, a big move for me. I don't know any anything else than Ottawa. Um, so I think that today was more just about, you know, landing on the feet a little bit, getting to say hi to everybody and, and you know, take care of the things that I have to do. And, and, you know, they gave me the space that I needed. And at the same time, you know, they gave me the comfort of, you know, letting me know that they were here if, if I needed anything. And, and I think it was a perfect, uh, perfect first day. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, to wake up tomorrow and, and go back to the rink. Curtis in the back in the middle. Uh, Curtis Michelle of Bay Area News Group. Eric, you, you mentioned Hustle Plotter. Obviously, Doug did as well. How much does that mean to you for him to sort of get involved in this process? Because you know, not many owners might do that, but how much does that mean to you? No, I think a lot. I think that you know, he's obviously the guy that uh, uh, you know, started this whole thing. Uh, he's the guy who, who, st who built this organization. Uh, he's the guy at the top. Uh, you know, he's obviously the owner, so, so he does what he has to do to, to run a successful company. And, and so far, I think that he's done a great job at that with the quality people that he has hired to do uh, the things that they do best. So, you know, speaking with Mr. Platner, I think is, uh, was very reassuring. Um, he knew what he was talking about, and he was a very well-spoken man. And, and, you know, hopefully I get to meet him soon. This is Paula uh, from 1010 AM, and welcome. How do you feel to be part of this organization and what will be your main priority to work with your team? Thank you. No, I, as I said, I think that for me, joining such a good team already is, is extremely exciting for me. It's going to create a new challenge uh, that I'm looking for, forward to extremely much. Again, everybody has been uh, nothing but over the top, which uh, I appreciate a lot. And again, um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to be here and get things going and, uh, you know, see see where you know this season is going to take us and and you know if we do what we have to do which i have strong beliefs we will uh you know it's going to be an exciting and fun year for everyone marcus uh, marcus white nbc sports california obviously over the last six days a lot of immigration issues to work through what did you do to stay busy and how did you kind of you know prevent yourself from going a little stir crazy there yeah i mean obviously i i uh I had some time to, to stay back in Ottawa and, and take care of some, some personal matters and get everything organized for, for the big move. And, and um, you know, other than that, I didn't really do much other than see my friends and my family and, and uh, you know, start packing a little bit, get some golf rounds in, which was nice. And, uh, you know, by the time that uh, everything got sorted out, uh, it felt like it was time to leave and I was extremely excited to, to finally get here. What kind of logistics go into a move like that that maybe you didn't anticipate before coming out here or that you were well aware of that you kind of dreaded? I realized I have a pretty big closet. I have a lot of things to bring. <laughs> I didn't think I had enough, but <clears throat> I think I have more than enough. So, uh, you know, I've never had a big pack like that before. That was probably the, the main thing. Uh, other than that, you know, we're going to keep our house in Ottawa. Uh, so, so, you know, log logistics-wise, I think it was, uh, was very smooth. And, and again, um, that's pretty much it, I think. Any other questions out there for Eric, Doug, or Pete? Okay, this is for uh, Coach. Uh, when do we see Eric uh, playing his first game with the Sharks? 
Uh, you know what? We haven't decided that yet. It'll be, uh, I mean, he'll get in a, probably a couple exhibition games before we start. Um, you know, we've got to get him up to speed on systems. I want to get him into some practices. And right now, the next game or two, we're still evaluating a lot of our young guys. So I'm not in a rush to stick him in the lineup, but it'll be soon. I'll let you know. <laughs> Question is for Peter. Um, how would you use the special skills uh, from uh, Eric for the team? Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I think what I love about Eric's game is, he, you know, I, I, everybody looks at the offense, but uh, he's an exceptional defensive player too, you know, so I think you can use him in every situation. There's very few players in the world you, you, that, you know, that I would term that you can use in the, in the last minute of games when you're up or you're down to shut down the best, the other team's best players to, to create offense when you're from behind. And he, he's one of those guys that he has those type of tools. So, you know, we're, we're going to use them in a lot of different ways. All right. Well, thank you, Rutch. Uh, everybody for being here and for watching today. Thank you to Eric. Doug and Peter, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the ice, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.